And welcome back to the channel Monica Love here at the Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from the 28th of June to July 4th. And this is going to be a general reading so it's not going to resonate with every single person that watches it. If it does resonate with you there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Capricorn. I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge for this week is the Four of Pentacles. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Hangman here in reverse. Okay. All right, so your challenge, Capricorn, has a lot to do with something that you're still holding on to. Um, you don't want to give up on this situation. You're still energetically holding on to it. We're going to see what the message here is for you in a moment. In the recent past, you have the Knight of Wands, you have the Knight of Swords, and you have the Eight of Cups. I feel like someone here walked away in the past. Could have been you, could have been your person. There was a lot of on and off between you and a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or an air sign, Aquarius, uh, Libra, Gemini. We're going to clarify and see. In the present moment, you have the Six of Cups, you have the Five of Pentacles, and you have the Six of Wands. I'm really getting, in the present moment, there is a lot of memories here um, that you had possibly with someone that you're still kind of reminiscing about, you're thinking about it, uh, thinking about, excuse me. You could have completely decided in the present moment to abandon a situation. Um, maybe you're trying not to think about the past here, maybe you're not trying to think about these memories. Um, and instead, you're trying to maybe focus your energy on something else here something else we're going to clarify and we're going to see uh in a moment in the near future capricorn you have the death you have the two of pentacles and the five of wands there's something that happens here in the near future that changes within this connection okay you have some sort of perspective on this they have some sort of perspective on this and this may um, be Capricorn what leads you into this place of trying to debate what it is that you want to do moving forward. Okay, I do see something here changing and transforming um, conflict. And yeah, it's you may have to make a decision about this situation. We're going to see when we clarify. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hanged Man in reverse, the Ten of Wands in reverse, the Page of Swords in reverse, Ace of Cups in reverse, Page of Cups in reverse, Justice in reverse, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Ace of Swords in reverse, Chariot in reverse, Six of Pentacles in reverse, and the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Something here stopped moving forward, okay? Someone here wasn't really speaking the truth. They weren't expressing how they truly felt about a situation. And if they did think something about a situation, they didn't really talk about it. Okay, something happened here where you and this person had a falling out because one of you was giving more to the situation than the other person. That is what halted things from moving forward. That is what halted you and this person from working on things here is what it's telling me. Missed opportunity happened here in the past, maybe with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm getting Libra very strongly here. Something here wasn't fair in the past between you and this person. Um, someone here refused to apologize there was possibly a new love here that, you know, things didn't work out between you and this new love in the past. Someone here stopped caring. Someone, you know, they just didn't want to put energy and effort into this anymore in the past is what it's telling me. And I'm also seeing that someone here decided to completely drop the burden um, because they didn't really see any sort of enlightenment within this situation. Okay. There was a situation here that you may have decided to completely release. All right. So let's do some clarification, Capricorn, and let's see. Okay, so the first card I'm going to clarify for you is the challenge for you this week, which is the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so the Four of Pentacles is clarified by the Two of Wands. You have the Five of Cups and you have the Hanged Man. Okay, so your challenge here has a lot to do with a situation that you are still sad about something here that ended not that great. Um, you're being called right now to possibly release something and it may not be easy for you to release the situation Capricorn because in this moment right now you are at this place um, where you need to figure out what direction you want to take in your life. 
Okay. There's something here that you want to be released from. You feel like you're stuck in some sort of situation or, you know, you have to remain holding on to something. I think something here that you need to ask yourself is what, it, what is it that you truly want? Because with the two of wands, the two of wands talks about a crossroad. Okay. So I feel like you're in this place right now in your life where, yeah, there's a lot of sadness. Yeah. There's a lot of stagnation. Yeah. You don't know re really where you're going, but you're going to have to make a decision on what direction you want to take. Okay, and that may be something that creates some sort of challenge for you, okay? Because you're still, I see you still holding on to some sort of sad situation and that's what's actually holding you back. Um, so there's a need for you to release something here, okay? So let's talk about the past. I'm going to clarify the Knight of Swords in the past. So the Knight of Swords is clarified by the Magician, the Five of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. Some of you were manifesting or creating something here in the past that really didn't go anywhere. Um, it didn't lead to any growth. It didn't, you know, I'm just seeing you rushed into something here in the past, maybe a relationship or a connection. And the interesting thing that I'm seeing here, Capricorn, is, is that the way in which you rushed into the situation, you may have had one expectation. This person you were dealing with, maybe a fire sign here in the past, had a different expectation. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands in the past. So the Knight of Wands is clarified by the Four of Swords, the Sun, and the Eight of Wands. Someone here in the past made it very clear to you, could have been a Leo that you were dealing with here, that they needed to heal. Um, I just see that you may have had a different expectation when it came to this connection and they had a different expectation, okay? And as a result of that, one of you walked away from this connection because you both weren't going in the same direction. It may have seemed like that in the past that you were at one point, but there's something here about you and this person like going off on different paths in the past, in the past. Okay. In the present moment, you are reminiscing about some sort of situation that you left. Tell me more about the Six of Wands in the present moment. Why is the Six of Wands here? So the Six of Wands is clarified by the Queen of Swords. You have the Chariot and you have the Strength. Someone here in the present moment is choosing to move forward with their life. They're no longer looking at the situation or rem uh, reminiscing about it. Could be a, a Leo you're dealing with in the present moment, Cancer or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. So even though you are reminiscing about the situation, this person has decided to move on. They're not reminiscing as much as maybe you are. This is what it's telling me, okay? So tell me more about the Five of Pentacles. There's a very important message here, uh, Capricorn, about a situation that you left in the present moment. Tell me more about the Five of Pentacles. So the Five of Pentacles is clarified by the King of Wands. You have the Judgment and you have the Eight of Pentacles. There's something here that you are starting to realize that you could have dealt. You could have dealt with the situation differently. Okay. With a fire sign, Leo Sagittarius, Aries, some of you walked out on this situation, but what you're realizing now that maybe it was better for you to work on things with this person. Maybe it was better to really sit down and, and figure out what the problem was. Why? Because a lot of you still are connected to this. In fact, a lot of you are still holding on to this. Okay. Something happened here with you and a fire sign, Leo Sagittarius, Aries, maybe a Scorpio. Some of you may have cut off someone here in the present moment. Tell me more about the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is clarified by the Three of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the nine, the Page of Swords. Page of Swords, nine of, sword, nine of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. So you're in a situation right now where you're reminiscing about the past. You're thinking about, oh, how could I have, how could have I, um, work things out with this person. Because what's happening in the present moment is there is a lot of anxiety, there is a lot of fear surrounding what is gonna happen between you and this person. You don't know what's gonna happen in the present moment. And this may be happening because you are still somewhat connected to this. You're reminiscing about something here. How could I have, how, how could I have made the situation different? How could have I approached the situation differently? Okay, so in the near future, you do come to some sort of um, 
place where you need to make a decision about an ending that's happening there was some sort of there will be some sort of conflict some sort of ending for some of you this has already happened is what it's telling me tell me more about this ending that's happening or this transformation that's happening for capricorn in the near future So the death card is clarified by the four of cups, the three of swords and the four of pentacles. A lot of you need to release pain. You need to release um, an ending here. You need to release, you know, if you were rejected by somebody or someone rejected you or vice versa, there's something here about you needing to choose. You have a decision, Capricorn. You could choose to hold on to something that's really not benefiting you or you can choose to let it go. But I think what you're being called to do here is recognize what is transforming and allow yourself to heal from it. It's definitely a conflict that you're bringing into the future with you that may have already happened. Okay, so what is this decision that you have to make? What is the decision that you have to make here in the near future? The decision here um, is to either be open to love or be completely closed off to it. You have the Nine of Pentacles, you have the Queen of Cups, and you have the Two of Swords. There's something here about you possibly choosing to not love again, maybe not to be open to love again, or to completely ignore love altogether. And the reason why you may be choosing to do this, or you may be weighing your options here is because a lot of you don't want to confront the conflict that comes up. There are conflicts that come up that test you. And some of you are like, I don't want to deal with this. Nope, I don't want if love if love involves this, I don't want to deal with it. Tell me more about this conflict in the near future for Capricorn. So in the near future, five of wands is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. You have the five of swords and the six of pentacles. It's all about how you approach this conflict in the near future. If you approach this conflict, Capricorn, um, with a sense of, you know what, I'm going to be patient. I'm going to be um, calm. I'm going to, you know give to the situation um, rather than coming in as a tyrant because some of you are going to be tested and this is maybe how you decide to come in. There's two different approaches here. There's two different ways you can deal with the situation and it's going to be up to you how you deal with it. And I think one of the things that you're learning right now, Capricorn, is, is that whatever you decide to do in the situation, that's going to determine the path that you take in your life. Everything that happens for you in your life is a decision. You could choose to go that way or you can choose to go that way. Okay, that's what your reading is telling you this week. So let's get some advice. What is the advice for you? The advice here is the tower, the ten of cups and the strength. It doesn't matter who you end up being with. Okay. Um, if you seek to have happiness, happy relationship, happy marriage, happy friendship, happy love life, happy family life, happy life, there is going to be tower moments. There is going to be tower moments. The advice is that no matter what you are confronted with in your life, no matter what it is you're, com you're confronted with in your life, there's something here about you needing to learn how to be like the strength. You're going to have ups, you're going to have downs. But the question is, how are you approaching this situation? Is the Ten of Cups something that you really want? Because if the Ten of Cups eventually is something that you want, you have to be able to accept the tower moments that come along with it and be able to approach these situations from the strengths perspective, okay? So Capricorn, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you on the next one.